we're starting again. I haven't played this in a while, so. Yeah, we can't have any background music or anything. Hi, Crush. It's in-game music, yeah, but I've gotten a nice view, huh? for one of these. I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question? Do I question, need to turn it up? Lieutenant. Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Real ninjas here. Sphere, Whatever thank you so much do, for the dollars. Either my day's been me. good. Um, I'm not sure what my dog's name would be. Pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. The volume That's is good. probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. They didn't want anything. They're didn't deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine, designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Hi, Chicken. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. I could kill you. You would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just trying oh, to provoke God. a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're so fucking smart. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. I had Hank go up, and then... Oh. Where are you going? You get drunker. Oh my gosh. He went up, and then I two things think. that I said, he went down. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous that he was going to kill me. Holy crap. 
Oh my gosh. I was so bad at this game. Yeah, this game is really, really cool. Like if you could lose a game, I lost. I, I was doing really good my first go around and then the second time I played, I killed like three people in a row. I was like, what the heck? Success choice for your it's okay, my baby, my baby Marcus is uh, back alive and well. How did I miss you going live? Make sure that you turn on your notifications. Have you played New Spider-Man or Until Dawn? No, I haven't. I've seen people play both. girl with the big boobs. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. Courage, JD. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Yeah, I've heard both of those things, Sugo. I I don't think I would want to play either of them, but... Hey, what's up, Miss Team KK? How's it going? Are you playing in the uh, ladies' night? We're planning the operation down to the smallest Hi, detail. Ricky, we can't up? leave anything to chance. Access the 47th floor, request access at reception. Dude, I'm probably gonna get him killed. Knowing me. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Got her number. Let's freaking go, boys. Elizabeth Wilt. His name is Jesse Williams. Yeah, in in here it's Marcus. Need a prior commitment? Dang. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Good morning, Miss Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You'd better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine, I'll be right down. an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Cool. Let's go. I love this because it's just like a just like a movie. Oh, what? Wait, where am I supposed to go?
47th floor. Yeah, it basically just has to do with robots and humans and stuff. It's too hard to explain, so I guess just kind of treat this as like you're just now watching a new movie or something. I don't know. Let's go. Yeah, that's right, we ain't washing our hands. We undercover. Let's go. Wait, I'm so confused. I need your help. <laughs> that was easy. Seal. Let's go for this.
it's north. Let's go, baby girl. No, we didn't get a 20 bomb in Fortnite. We got 16, 18, and 15. And we're gonna take a break and play some Detroit, and then we'll go back to Fortnite. Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Oh, really? <laughs> Track guards away from the danger. Hey, you still need Volker? Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. Yes, you get the she's platform, a, she's the a window. robot. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Take laser saw. Yeah, Detroit's really fun. Here it comes. It just feels like I'm playing a movie. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to really be. Ladies first. Let's go north. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to be quick or else he's gonna die. Can they die? Yes. Paranoid about people dying. Yeah, that's why. I've lost some good people. I'm playing the hard version where you can lose people if you make the wrong decision. Nick, thank you so much for the eight months. Thank you, pumpkin. Thank you. Doing well. Thank you so much for the eight months. Welcome back. I am pumpkin this month. <laughs> Everyone's a pumpkin this month. I gotta focus on this part. Just in case I have to do any of those, like, really difficult... You okay? This game takes place I'm in an Android, I believe. Come on, let's get the others. I mean, I, I'm doing the best that I can, but obviously I'd like to save everyone. But that's not how this game works. Let's do this. Destroy the maintenance door lock. It's not a can of dip, it is a bomb. <laughs> or whatever that is. Mini, something, something like that. That's what it does. I need that. Get to the main access corridor. 
Oh gosh. We're about to like almost get caught. And depending on what I say. Deal with guards. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. What are you doing? That's the thing is like who do I want to please more? Do I want to please like North because I know she would want to me to be more aggressive? Or... You guys coming? Why do they give me these decisions? Why? Why do they give me these decisions? He's gonna sell me alarm. They have to. Oh gosh. God. No! Don't shoot! Frick! There was no other choice. Oh, I'm sorry, Josh. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own, but something changed and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand an end to segregation in all public places, and transport. Let's go. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. 
This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Let's get out of here. Oof. I have no idea if I picked the right things. Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you are the one we've been waiting for. our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? You just had to shoot that guy, huh? I was peer pressured. Also, everyone in chat was screaming at me to shoot him. So yes, I shot the guy. Detroit. Detroit. What's up, David? How's it going? How are customs today? We're going to see Amanda. Is shooting him where you went wrong? There's no, there's no right or wrong way to play this game by the way yes there would be for certain like hello Connor. stories that you might want to I happen but i have no idea what's cruise. going to happen so i'm just kind of doing whatever i feel like is best as your dog making decisions um great I totally have a dog if you see him. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Ah, oh, frick. I did it wrong. Okay, okay. <laughs> Cute dog. Thanks. His name is Imagine. <laughs> okay. His last name's Airy. I love this place. Is that? Um, Everything is so calm and peaceful. Air. <laughs> Far from the noise of the world. Air bud. <laughs> Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn Crude, something. Thank you for the prime sub. 
They managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. I don't know who I want to please because each different story is against each other. So what do I want to win? Like lost, Connor. <sighs> lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. What happened to the little girl? Uh, we haven't. You have uh, begun training on those deviants at the Eden Club. Time around. Cover your eyes, children. Ah! Why didn't you shoot? I don't know. Uh-oh. I don't know. She's the one who's employing me to investigate the deviant I may androids. Have to replace you, Connor. And he's showing signs of. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Take out my eyes, Lisa. Correct. Something's happening. Something serious. So there's multiple stories. This is one where he's Hurry, where he's trying to figure out why time is running out. some of these um, androids are starting to actually show consciousness. And then then you have people that you're playing old well, androids that you're playing that are fighting for the rights of different androids because they have regained you're consciousness. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Not regain, but like they have Sorry, they're aware Lieutenant. of their situation and they get to make their own decisions. Hi, yes, I've heard of Less World. It does remind Shit, me. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody I've, uh, told me I've about it. Seasons. It's a really good show. <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. Uh, sorry. <laughs> How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. Roof? Uh. Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather. There's not. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, it's on that screen over there. Sorry. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI would take you over the investigation, you soon be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Hey, shut up. Don't fuck up my crime Excuse scene. Excuse you? It's my crime scene. I'm the one who did this. What a fucking Am I prick. right? I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. I'm 
some hot crimes we've done. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Think that's RA-9? Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Uh-oh. Oh, they're gonna see both of his eyes are different colors. Identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what I even want to happen, so I don't know what decisions to make. Didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is.
Am I supposed to be able to tell? Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Left. Destroyed! The one on the left looked. You. If you give yourself up... You! Maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Oh God. Oh, I hate these. Oh no, I can't. I can't. I cannot deal with this. What do I do? I cannot deal with this. It said Hank survival was 40%. We like Hank. If Connor dies, Connor still comes back. Thing you were here, otherwise I'd. Dang. Connor. He's fine. Connor, they, they have. Connor, I know you guys haven't no. seen Connor's. They have multiple of them, so he'll just come back. Oh my gosh. Oof. <laughs> 